Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8 Battle Pass skins has been leaked and they are one of the best Battle Pass skins I've ever seen. I mean, we're talking about possible Spider-Man skin, King Shark from Suicide Squad. Also, we are going to have a look at game-breaking glitches and also a glitch that gives you free skins in creative. Like and subscribe for free skins and please use code SMGM to help me out. First of all, I want to show you guys this super OP glitch that you can do right now. So basically, we're going to do this in Party Royale, but you can do this in in any game mode basically for this one you're gonna need a crash pad so i'm gonna go to this vending machine right here grab a bunch of crash pads basically more the better so i'm just gonna go ahead and pick up like inventory full of crash pads okay so after grabbing all this so we're gonna head over to this part of the map right here as you can see right there we are going to grab a quad crasher because you can do this glitch using a bunch of vehicles like boats, a quad crasher. So I'm going to do this on this quad crasher right here before I show you guys other vehicles, basically. So place it right here, just like this. But like I said before, you can do this any way you want. OK, so what I'm going to do is uh, grab the crash pads. And I'm basically going to just throw them on the ground and just stack them just like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and use all five of them. Like I said before, more the better. And then I'm going to go into my vehicle. And then basically what I need to do now is just drive through it. And as you can see right here, bro, oh my God, fam, it will just send you flying. I'm not sure if I should have boosted right there. Kind of slowed the momentum. Bro, my quad vanished. You know what? Let's try that again without boosting. Also, let's try do this like towards the ocean. Let's see where it basically takes me. Oh my God, bro. Look at this, fam. You know, the cool thing is that you could actually do this in chapter one without using any crash pads. Oh my God, bro. What just happened there? Okay, now let me try this using a boat, okay? I've got a boat right here. And from what I've heard, you can actually go even further using a boat. So let me just do this. Oh my God, bro. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, that was a fail. All right, let's try this again, okay? So I'm gonna be really quick. Come on, come on. Oh my God, bro. Look at this, fam. I bet everyone's like looking at me like, what is this guy doing? Oh my God, bro. I just went first person mode. I have no idea what is happening right now. Am I going down? Bro, I'm just like floating right here. Oh my god, look at this fam. I'm actually first person. Oh my god, imagine all the people looking at me right there. They must be so confused, bro. Okay, let me try like boosting and let's see what happens. Okay, okay, now I'm falling down, bro. Oh my god, look at this. Am I gonna get like eliminated or something? What happens if I hit the ground? Oh my God, bro, look at this submarine. I'm driving a submarine, bro. That is so OP. Do you want free skins in Fortnite in creative? I got you, bro. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and equip Mystique and then select a game mode that basically has that little changing booth in creative. Go ahead and start the game after that one. There you go. That's the changing booth that I was talking about. I'm trying to be careful not to get shot right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, build right there. And then after that one, what you want to do is basically uh, select a respawn. So I'm just going to go ahead and select respawn right there. And after respawning, what you want to do is basically use the inbuilt emote of Mystique. You know that emote that basically like changes her skin. So what you want to do is just go ahead and use this emote. Now you have to use this emote twice, okay? Okay, so I've done it once, so I'm going to do it again one more time. And after this one, what you want to do is basically go to the booth, enter the booth. And now if you select chapter two, season two skins, so basically like Midas, Brutus and people like that. I'm going to go ahead and select TNT now. And if you exit the booth now, you can see right here, I've just unlocked the ghost version of Tiantina, which I think looks super cool. You can actually play uh, the game with it as well, as you can see right here. Get out of here, fam. You know what? I want to try out Midas, okay? Let's see if I can actually get the ghost version of Midas. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that one. Oh my God, bro. This is so clean. I think Midas is one of the coolest skin, and I think this version is the coolest of all the Midas versions. You know what? Now, I want to do Brutus actually brutus is actually one of my favorite characters as well so let me go ahead and uh, select this one and then leave the booth oh my god let's go oh my god that is clean the white suit but the usually this version actually has a helmet on 
but this doesn't. Okay, let me try using Kit. Let's see what you get. Okay, you get like this different pink version of Kit. All right, fam. So the alien mothership has started abducting Corny Complex, as you can see right there. Only a few days left before the season eight live event start. And there are actually a bunch of secrets that's hidden in this Corny Complex point of interest. And I'm going to show you guys right now. And everything has to do with the live event, as you can see right there. Bro, did that say alien? 87 days what is going on bro whoa look at all these stuff around bro so obviously we've got all these buildings but if you look underneath the floating island as you can see right there those are bombs now let's take a closer look at those bombs right there and these bombs will basically explode the mothership, taking down mothership and that's why it's called a fire sky fire operation or something like that but let's see if we can actually explode these bombs right here. Uh, no. Let me try getting closer. Try to pickaxe the bomb. Let's see what happens if I pickaxe these. Bro, nothing. I guess we'll just have to wait till the live event for this explosion to happen. So far, and these just don't explode. So let me quickly have a look at the main bomb that's hidden in this Imagine Orders headquarter. I will put it up in the screen how it looks like. So yeah, this is going to be a massive bomb. All right, now let me quickly go down here. So this is obviously the Imagine Orders headquarter. And let's see if this bomb is now like out there. You can actually see before it was like cased. Oh my God, bro. No, it's not. It's still under that case, bro. So when are we able to see this bomb? Imagine like a crazy explosion that we're going to get. So we only have a few days left now. I guess we will be able to see the massive explosion. The mothership is going to completely swallow all of this POI. And then the mothership is coming down. All right, now let's talk about Fortnite Battle Pass skins. All right, now let's talk about possible Season 8 Battle Pass skins. And number one... We've got King Shark. HypeX tweeted all these skins that are coming to Fortnite very soon. Okay, now if you guys don't know who King Shark is, King Shark is a character from Suicide Squad. And as his name suggests, he's basically half human, half shark. And to be honest with you, this is a very fitting Fortnite skin. I mean, this could might as well be like Fortnite's original idea. Because every Battle Pass skin has this little wacky kind of funny skin. For example, Peely, Man Cake. So my feeling is that next season this is going to be like a funny skin now in my opinion this skin is going to have two different variants one is going to be a normal human form and then i think is going to have like an inbuilt emote that you can only do with this skin and i think you can turn into a shark if you do this emote or should i say half human half shark it would be very similar to like she hulk skin or if you do an emote you turn into like this green hulk at number two we've got weasel that's right this is another Suicide Squad skin. And this is kind of like a Loki character than like a King Shark. Not a lot of people know about this character. But again, very similar to King Shark. This character has the ability to turn into a weasel. I mean, if you look at the image, bro, this guy is super ugly, as you can see right here. Again, season eight is going to take place during Halloween season. So this skin makes a lot of sense, if you ask me. Again, similar to King Shark, there's going to be an inbuilt emote. And you can basically turn into this weasel character. Up next, we've got Jester King skin. So this was actually one of the skins Hypeck mentioned. Bunch of these skins right here was leaked by a company that makes skins for Fortnite. And one of the skins was actually this skin right here. And if you look carefully, they do look like a Jester. And if you don't know, Jester basically means like an old school clown. And also they look like kings and queens as well. So my guessing is that these two might be part of the battle pass next season if not they might be available in the item shop up next we've got save the world halloween skin now i think this is going to be a super cool skin because like i said before halloween is going to take place during season eight and we all know fortnite loves halloween because if you think about it fortnite is basically halloween like every day just running around wearing costumes also recently we have seen fortnite bring a lot of save the world skins to battle royale and according to hype x a male version of 
of Save the World Halloween skin will come to BR. And I think it's going to be this guy. And to be honest with you, this is actually a really cool skin. Up next, we've got Minecraft. Recently, a bunch of codes has been leaked. And they were basically all like Minecraft codes. And also, they have just recently been added to the game. And Fortnite actually does this every time they're bringing a new collaboration. And we all know that Fortnite are doing a bunch of collaboration recently. Pretty much every season, we get at least 20 to 30 collaboration. And since Minecraft has been growing a lot in popularity, we have seen people like Tommy in it and Dream blow up. I would not be surprised if we get like a Minecraft collaboration next season. But there's a very high possibility we might get like a Minecraft skin or maybe like a Minecraft wrap in Battle Pass. Up next, we've got Spider-Man. Okay, now there has been a bunch of leaks that suggest that we might get Spider-Man collaboration very soon because Spoilers FN says on Twitter, on 15th 8th, 2021, I got a PM from someone anonymous. I think he means DM with information about a Spider-Man crossover and now it looks like it's coming true. So here's some information I was given. Epic and PlayStations are in early development of a Spider-Man Spider-Man crossover. Sony has stated that they want the offer to be exclusive to PlayStation users. Okay, now that is super interesting. So if we get a Spider-Man collaboration, it is going to be PlayStation exclusive skin. So if you're on Xbox or PC, you will not be able to claim the skin. I guess if you have a friend who owns a PlayStation, you can log in using the PlayStation and get the skin like that. And the reason for that is Sony is the one that actually own Spider-Man and obviously PlayStation is owned by Sony and also we have seen like console exclusive skins before as well and also like phones for example Galaxy skin was exclusive to people that own a Samsung Galaxy and also most of these skins were actually free as well so there is a very high chance that Spider-Man skin might be free if you own PlayStation I mean I'm a huge fan of Spider-Man let me know in the comments down below if you're excited for a Spider-Man collaboration and I'm going to leave you guys with this trailer made by a fan.